AGIS SLA integration allows you to use subledger accounting within AGIS. This is an advanced topic and it is presumed that you already know AGIS and this deals with only how to integrate AGIS with SLA. You know AGIS can use intercompany accounts that can be configured during your AGIS setups. However, there is another option provided by R12 wherein you can use subledger accounting to generate the intercompany receivable and payable accounts and also to default the distribution accounts. So let us see how we can do that. First of all, we are going to take an example wherein Vision Operations is going to charge a shared expense to Vision Services. The expense distribution need to be defaulted automatically and intercompany receivable and payable accounts need to be generated automatically through the account derivation rule. That is the difference. Setting up the ADRs. You need to set up the ADRs first. So let us set up the ADRs. So you have to first create a custom responsibility AGIS SLA integration under financials common modules and use any menu, custom menu or so, so that you can get these menus. Let us go to account derivation rules. The rules are already created. This rule is for vision operations for determining the clearing account which is the intercompany receivable or payable account. In this case 1814 is the intercompany receivable services from services. This is the distribution account. This is the shared expense that is already incurred by vision operations and that is going to be charged to vision services. Vision services is going to use a clear account clearing account which is 2372 this is intercompany payables to vision operations and the distribution account for vision services is going to be 5020 so in the books of vision services it will be debited to labor cost we have set up the account derivation rules now let us set let us set up the transaction account definition. The transaction account definition determines which account derivation rules will be used for defaulting the distribution or generating the intercompany receivable and payables account. So for vision operations, this is the transaction account definition created here. Let us quickly see the definition. This links the account derivation rules that we created in the earlier step to the purpose. For example, this rule VO underscore CLR is going to be used for initiator intercompany clearing account and so on. These are all the purposes. And this initiator and recipient is used for vision operations that is when vision operations is initiated or when vision operations is recipient. Similarly, we can link the ADRs for vision services also. For vision services, all the VS underscore CLR, VS underscore distribution, those ADRs will be used for the accounting within vision services. Once you have created the transaction account definition, you have to attach the TAD to the ledger. Now go to general ledger vision operations, go to accounting setup manager. Go to intercompany accounts and you will see there is a transaction account definition here which links your TAD with the ledger. So for vision operations we are going to use this definition of the transaction account definition. If you do not enter anything here the 
ledger accounts that you defined for intercompany accounting will be used for intercompany receiving and receivables and payables account. You have to run a request generate API objects for TAD and that is only once. Do not run it every time. So I am just going into this custom responsibility. Run the request. Submit it. This is the request. Just execute it only once. This is already executed. We have already validated the TAD. The option to validate the TAD is right there on the TAD screen. Now let us verify whether it works by initiating an intercompany transaction. So let us go to intercompany user vision operations and let us create a transaction. Here it is presumed that you have already done all the setups for intercompany. Let us create an outbound transaction for vision operations. Test and vision services is going to be the recipient. The transaction type let us take as default. And the control amount is 1000. We are debiting vision services. Continue this. Add a line for initiator accounting, and you will see that the distribution account is automatically defaulted. So your debited vision services credit the distribution account. This expense is already paid by vision operations. And that time it has got debited. So now you are crediting it. Go to recipient accounting. Add a line. And this is the distribution accounting of the recipient which is vision services. And this is what has defaulted from the account derivation rules. Put the amounts here and submit the intercompany transaction. Batch 17 is submitted. Now let us see what has happened to batch 17. Now this is going to take some time. When it is completely processed that will appear in out inbound transactions. For now as an outbound transaction the status is submitted. Let us query the inbound transaction. The transaction status is now approved. So let us run a request to transfer the transaction to GL. This is for vision operations let us say. So let us take the ledger date and we will do it for vision operations first. Submit the request. So the request is running normal. Let us go to general ledger vision operations and let us wait until the request is completed.
So the journal import has been triggered now. Let us do the same for vision services. So let us go to the concurrent request, intercompany user, vision services, and run a request to make a transfer. You can actually configure AGIS to do this automatically. If you go to options of AGIS, you can set that option as online. Currently it is set up as batch, but that's a separate topic. So I'm not going to cover that in this demo. Okay, so while this request for vision services is running, let us go and see what has happened to vision operations, general laser vision operation. And the request that we have triggered for vision operations is this one, 843. Let us see the journal. So this is a journal that is created from the intercompany. Let us review it. And you will see that 1814 has been captured here from the account derivation rules, which is intercompany receivable from services. Now let us go to general ledger vision services. The general import number is this one. Let us query it. And review the journal for vision services. So this is the accounting for vision services 2372 that is intercompany payables to vision operations has automatically been credited and the distribution account which defaulted automatically has been debited. So this is how you can integrate. So we have created, initiated an intercompany transaction and verified the defaulted accounts and we have tested the journals. And this is how you can integrate subledger accounting with advanced global intercompany system. Thank you. Bye-bye.